It's tremendously rewarding to start something from scratch and see it grow to what it is today. With the Zero One, it was very clear. This is our, our varsity helmet, so universities and high schools. We just wanted to make a helmet that could reduce impact forces, and there were already tests out there that could assess varsity helmets. There's two main differences about the Zero One and other helmets in the industry. When we decided to build a soft, deformable outer shell, it just made the challenge hundreds of times more difficult, but the response from our players that are in it has been well worth it. The second major difference would be the structure that we've built inside of it. We really focused around a type of polymer, a type of structure that will buckle and impact. And by doing that, we're able to therefore better mitigate most impacts in comparison to other impact structures. Youth helmets are different. Up until the introduction of our Zero One Youth, youth helmets were essentially adult helmets with lightweight shells, and there was no testing done on them, no ranking being done on those. And so we were able to actually come in and design a youth helmet from scratch. When we decided we'd like to get into the youth industry, instead of taking our Zero One model and modifying it just to use it for youth, Everything is different. It looks similar. We tried to have some of the industrial design look similar to show that it's the same brand, but the helmet basically from the inside out is completely different than the Zero One. And each one of those decisions were specifically around mitigating impacts that are slightly different for youth than they are for varsity. You're gonna see new and different and emerging helmet technologies coming forward in football. We're certainly not gonna rest. I'm excited to introduce those uh, into the marketplace over the next few years.